Good afternoon, Chairview crew. The unexpected happened in an AMC theater premiering Lost City. Even more unexpected would be if we get this video a whole bunch of likes and comments. One individual in the theater was Catwood who tweeted, I'm at the AMC cinema waiting for Lost City. The projector is broken. They've been working to fix it for 30 minutes. A woman in the audience has decided to get up, go to the front, and try out her stand-up comedy on us. It's not good, I just... It happened in Burbank, and even when she was asked to please stop because she was unfunny, she proceeded to be even more embarrassing and loud. I have put together what's available of her set from various Twitter users who recorded it. Let's cringe together. It's about the lotus flower and how the beauty of the lotus flower and the strength of it is because it comes out of mud and the most beautiful and strongest lotus flowers are the ones that come out of the most mud. So that's why I do the chant. So it's to fight against negativity or jealousy or oppression. That's what it's to fight against. Sometimes people get jealous if they haven't been through as many things as you. They want to say they've been through stuff. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Um, do you guys want to hear a song or do you want me to sit down? Sit down. Please sit down. But like, I, I, I don't even know what she's talking about at this point. Later on, she gets to the chant, which is uh, cultural appropriating, let's say, and pretty embarrassing. Sing. Sing. <laughs> Should I go see it over there and sing it or right here? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're moving the movie thing. So, I am a single mom. Do we have any single moms in the house? Take my ash and spread them near Pismo Beach and Lake Tahoe and whatever's left over. I want you to put your dad's coffee grinder. I feel like all the moms in NorCal thought it was a stripper. Does anybody hear tattoos? Um, so I also like to give advice to people. Um, I believe in Buddha. Jesus was never married. He could have been dropping off the kids for a week and have been like, here's your dead fish, bitch. I want to help. I want to inspire. I've been going through depression. Is anybody in her chant? <laughs> You're inspiring me to uh, never try stand up because I don't want to embarrass myself as badly as this. Like, I, I, I don't even know what's going on. It's just... I'm like, if that can get Tina Turner away from Ike Turner, that can get me out of my one bedroom into a house in the hills. And I joined the all black gospel choir. I look back over my life and I think things over. Usually when I sing that song, the white people are confused. Put us out of our misery. Put us out of our misery. Oh. You want to come down here and try to entertain people? What well, you're trying to dim, dim my light, so you need something. I never thought I would see like a racist Asian. People. Humiliating. Everybody just wants to see the movie. They didn't pay to see your crappy stand-up comedy. This isn't some open mic. I, I don't know why security didn't say something to this woman, but like, just sit down. People get jealous if they haven't been through as many things as you. So this is an offer that I wrote. I actually did it the other night at the Laugh Factory and they loved it. Oh. If uh, Laugh Factory loved it so much, why are you performing at a movie premiere rather than down at the club? <laughs> if you went <laughs> to try out for Mitzi Shore back in the day, she would have said, No, thank you. You're not talented. Just awful. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm on Tiffany King TikTok. I also, I'm also psychic medium on the side. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that was, but that's her performance. I wish there was more of it in one piece rather than the jokes being cut up and stuff. But you can see that, like, there's nothing funny about this, and uh, I'd rather watch Amy Schumer at this point, which is saying something. But uh, what do you think? Let me know down below.